I got invited to live in a content house recently, and on paper the idea does seem really cool, but I'm a little nervous. I, I just got done watching the Hype House TV show, and God, I do not want to be part of another LA influencer group, to be honest. We have 10 20 year olds living in a $5 million house together. Not that I could afford it anyways, YouTube doesn't pay me. My point is, I am down to do a content house, but I wanted to do it a little different, so I suggested we do it somewhere no one else would ever think to do it. So yeah, welcome to the But before we continue, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Green Chef, for making this possible. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I am a horrible cook. Fine, we'll just scrape all the burn off. This is why I don't cook. But Green Chef is making it a lot easier for me to cook. With chef curated recipes featuring organic veggies and high quality proteins delivered straight to your door, and also the recipes come with pre measured sauces, dressing, and spices, there's a very low chance of me messing this up. <laughs> it's a bread knife. Okay, wait. More like chicken. <laughs> Mom, what's a chicken knife? Right, we're gonna use this one, it's fine. But I, gu I guess there still is a, a low chance. Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company and they have a variety of lifestyle options including keto and paleo, vegan, gluten-free, vegetarian, fast and fit, and Mediterranean for those who simply want a little more balance. With easy to follow instructions, I actually finally cooked something good and it was ridiculously easy. Go to greenchef.us and use code Valspire130 to get $130 off plus free shipping on your first box. And once again, thank you to Green Chef for sponsoring this video and this really good meal. The idea of being surrounded by a bunch of content creators and Naren. It's <laughs> getting crazy. Oh, no. oh. Naren isn't a content creator, but he, he just makes everything better, so I wanted to invite him. I'm gonna cut the horse out of the shot, so it just looks really weird. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, it doesn't look right what you're doing right now. What do you mean? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm getting off topic. My point is, I'm just really excited to be surrounded by a bunch of other content creators I've watched online for a while now. I mean, this is really the first time I'll be meeting any of them in person, so I really have no idea what to expect. I guess what I picture in my mind is a nice, calm trip. Montana gives me these vibes of complete freedom. A place surrounded by nature where I could get away from the fast pace, well, everything. So what I pictured in my head was a very calm couple of weeks. But I quickly realized that that wasn't gonna happen when I was woken up at 6 a.m. to go for a run. What the hell is happening? <laughs> Zach, what the hell is this? I didn't sign up for this. I didn't sign up for this either. <laughs> and then I was informed we'd be doing polar plunges every morning. <laughs> yes, sir! Yes! Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Like a diamond in the sky. Not even a day in and we're already going insane. Awesome house. Where the best friends come. come. Yeah, he's on a call. He's on a call. First time he's on a call. Best friends come together <laughs> and do stars. Stars. I know she loves me, but it takes its toll. Above the bar. Darren, watch out, you're gonna hit a rock! Darren, watch out! Darren, watch out! Watch out. Darren! Dodge it! Oh! Oh, another rock! <laughs> <laughs> it's about to hit another rapid. 
He's doing great. He's doing so great. Peace of mind, peace of time, be alone and soon, be alone and soon. Peace of mind, peace of time, be alone and soon, be alone and soon. Oh no. <laughs> Come on, Aaron, you got it. You got it, bro. Woo! Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> Day two got pretty interesting. I think we started a cult. With the initiation being trying pepper spray. You haven't tried this flavor yet. <laughs> How's it taste? It's hot. I don't think it's as spicy as the last time. You're probably getting used to it. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel? I feel like, oh, it's getting hotter, bro. Oh, God, I think I swallowed it. Oh, oh no, I feel it in my throat a little bit. Wait, actually? Wow. It starts to get worse. Worse? I mean, I mean, uh, I mean better. You want to try? Oh, shit. You guys are not making a great argument. Zach, just join it's the so crew. Sweet. <laughs> it's so sweet! <laughs> Man, being away from society for two whole days really starts to take a toll. We then created a list of commandments. Rule number one of the bunk boys. Never leave a bunk boy behind. Ooh, unless, unless there's, there's a, bear. a bear. Unless there's a bear, yep. <laughs> <laughs> and then all of a sudden we were making masks for whatever reason. And, and then th this happened. Do you think you found your purpose? Kind of through like making videos and stuff, but it's not like it's like perfect, you know? It's not like I'm like happy all the time. Yeah. yeah There's that definitely that still like ups easy. and downs. I think life in general is just like fleeting moments of like all the emotions as well. Like it's not just like if you reach a goal, you're not going to just be happy from that. You just yeah. have to like. I mean, that's the human experience, right? To just yeah. feel everything. Any bad emotions, good emotions, 
You're gonna feel it all. <laughs> you constantly feel one way all the time. You're just like a robot, basically. Yeah, yeah. I feel like being numb or like is way worse than yeah, like not feeling sure. like anger, sadness, happiness. I don't know. Yeah. Being numb is like the worst thing ever. I'd rather be like sad all the time than be numb. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Like Natalie said, life is really full of fleeting moments and. That really got me thinking how lucky I am to be in this moment, surrounded by good friends and beautiful views. And I have no idea how long all of this will last or where life will take me, but that's why I want to enjoy these moments as much as I can, because at least I'll have those good memories that I'll end up being nostalgic about in the future. That was dope. Hey, yo, we got your smile. We got your smile. like a band. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't what did you what? see, man? That was crazy. Yeah. Yeah. With the trip starting to come to an end, I wanted to do something that would get everyone involved. So welcome to the first ever Wholesome Olympics. We split up into four different teams and came up with a number of games to play where the winner gets a tinfoil trophy I made. This is a trophy, by the way. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Listen guys, I I'm not Mr. Beast here. <laughs> This is our pumpkin. This is our pumpkin. As um, so, the backstory behind this is uh -huh. Halloween night. Halloween night. Oh, oh no! Is this a scary story? 1983. That's a good year. <laughs> there was little boys who wanted candy. Really little. Yeah. They were like five. <laughs> <laughs> so they went to the pumpkin house. Whoa! Oh. As the pumpkin house legend goes, there was a guy who had no head. No way. Just a pumpkin as a head. Ah! And as you can tell, he's like that one emoji where he sticks out his tongue. He's like. Ah! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
the pain. Congratulations to Team Equity Woo! for placing in first at the first annual Wholesome, Wholesome Olympics. Yay! Drink, 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 drink. chug. Woo! Woo! Guys, at the end of the end of the day, this is all about friendship. Yeah. And yeah. the adventure on the way there. Bring it in. 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 I would say this trip as a whole was a success. It was really cool to be surrounded by a bunch of talented filmmakers and really get to know them over the past couple of weeks. I definitely do recommend checking out their channels. They'll all be in the description. Um, anyways, thank you all for watching. And as Simon always says, keep it wholesome, friends. Sitting around a fire, <laughs> I think I'm on fire. <laughs> no, seriously, guys, I'm burning up. Can someone save me? Oh no, there's a bear. Oh. The park boys. <laughs> we are the park boys. We are the park boys. We are the park.